Tehillah, Psalm 94. O Yahweh, ale of vengeance, O ale of vengeance, shine forth. Raise yourself up, O judge of the earth. Render punishment to the proud. Yahweh, how long are the wicked? How long are the wicked going to exalt? They pour forth, they speak arrogantly. And all the workers of wickedness boast in themselves. They crush your people, O Yahweh, and they afflict your inheritance. They slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless. Yet they say, Yah does not see, and the Elohim of Yaakov pays no heed. Take heed, you senseless among the people, and you fools. When would you become wise? He who planted the ear, does he not hear? And he who formed the eye, does he not see? And he who disciplines the nations, does he not reprove? The one teaching man knowledge. Yahweh knows the thoughts of man, that they are a breath. Baruch is the man you discipline, O Yah, and instruct out of your Torah. To give him rest from the days of evil until the pit is dug for the wicked. For Yahweh does not leave his people, nor does he forsake his inheritance. For right ruling returns to righteousness, and all the upright in heart follow it. Who would rise up for me against evildoers? Who would stand up for me against workers of wickedness? If Yahweh had not been my help, my being would soon have settled in silence. When I said, my foot has slipped, your kindness, O Yahweh, supported me. When anxiety was great within me, your comforts delighted my being. Would a throne of destruction, which devises trouble by law, be joined with you? They band together against the life of the righteous and declare innocent blood wicked but Yahweh is my defence and my Elohim the rock of my refuge and brings back on them their own wickedness and cuts them off in their own wickedness Yahweh our, our Elohim cuts them off Amen Blessed Mishpachar and Havarim, be assured by these words that Abba has always got it. No matter what it is, all in his timing and his way, all will be tov miod. Very good. We are waiting for the last head to be turned to Abba through Yeshua. Before the Jews will have their eyes opened fully, Take a look at Romans chapter 11 verses 22 all the way through to 27. So we're going home. Abba has massive plans for us. We're going home to our true home, home sweet home, back to the source. What a huge relief it is that we don't belong here in this mayhem. Hallelujah. Maybe we should all pray for the evildoers, the proud and the arrogant the arrogant boasters, boasting in all they don't really know, they think they know. We should pray for them because they don't know the Father, our Father. They're not wise and their foolishness will trip them up in the end. Abba sees and hears everything. He created knowledge. How can he not know something? He does judge and he does punish. I pray he disciplines us and teaches us from his law, not our laws. Abba Yahweh <clears throat> Elohim covers us and deals with the wickedness around us. There's nothing to fear for those who are true to Yeshua in heart and intention. Being obedient to the law of Abba Yahweh, or at, le at least <clears throat> giving it a good go and trying to. He knows how much effort we put in people. He knows the difference between our intention and our error, our true error, our true intention. Abba's judgment will come, be assured. 
right ruling will return to righteousness and all the upright in heart will follow it. Look here at verse 15. Justice comes to those who pursue righteousness through his law, which is written on the hearts of man. Couldn't get closer, could it? So we have no excuse. It's a choice, just a choice. One with a virtuous heart will want to follow him. Personally, my heart is enamoured by his right ruling. Intrigue alone is enough to have me follow him. He's fascinating. I hope you all think so. We are to eat our daily bread, chewing and swallowing and digesting, with study and understanding, consulting Arbor every step of the way in prayer and in supplication. Learning his law is actually key. And bringing understanding to the heart and mind, which we wouldn't get without reading his scripture. I find it kind of awakens that which he's written on our hearts. So many stories in scripture. They let us know that he accounts us as righteous when we turn to him in love and with trust. We are his inheritance. Look at Ephesians 1, 3 to 14, I think it is. <clears throat> and the down payment was Yah's sacrificed son. He is always helping us people. Never let yourself think otherwise. But little do we really notice or appreciate it on a day-to-day -day basis. We need to unplug from this world and tune in every day to Abba Father. Start your day with a prayer. Start your day with some scripture. He supports us and consoles us all the time. He is our stronghold of choice, our fortress. He is our rock of stability and our place of refuge. So hold on and don't forget that. Thank you so much for joining all of us here. Many blessings, much love. And may you receive all you need to be whole and complete. That is, many birachot, much ahav to you all, and shalom. Yeah.